you have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh, shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. This is totally sanitary, but what do I know? In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm Birder of the Year, and your reign is finished. Uh Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. But I do wonder about the other guys. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. Love you, Gabe. The hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I wanna broadcast my affiliation with you, Jokers, to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Poor Amelia. So, I... If 
I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. How's it going? We have some ideas that are going to blow your mind. <laughs> Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it, been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that, thanks. Trust me, you're not alone. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh hell, like brother, like sister, huh? Fine, guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Let's hear this infamous song. Alabaster Daydreams! That's it! How the hell? Don't worry about it. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. This 
spring festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. check in with Steph and Ryan. If she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is. For Gabe. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So what are they? So here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Ryan. Total smoke show in a flannel. It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Steph. This, Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the... the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. 
She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Ethan's a great artist, isn't he? He sure is. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah, that's our motto. It, it's a motto. Integrity. Unless it gets in the way of profit, then fuck integrity. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. Good beer? Yep. I can't even imagine. Imagine going to confessional now. One more thing Typhon's taken from me. William Bloom, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose they do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Would they ever speak to me again if they found out what I really do? Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could- It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait, there's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all.
Diane. Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Alone in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. How long have you been planning this, you devil? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever since you showed up in Haven. Truth be told. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> 